What is considered high CNS stress for a primary lift day versus low CNS stress for a recovery day? Let's start with high CNS stress. And this will typically include sprinting, both acceleration and max velocity work within 5% of your best outputs. Also, intensive plyometrics like depth jumps, approach jumps, and loaded jumps, as well as bounds and hops for max distance or height. Other high CNS movements include Olympic lifts and derivatives and heavy compound lifts. This type of training requires relatively low reps, long rest, and very high focus and intent. By contrast, a low CNS or recovery-based session may include mobility work and movement quality work, sub-maximal accessory work like split squats, hamstring curls, or other isolation movements, also aerobic work and conditioning. This could include zone two cardio, tempo runs, or technique drills. And then lastly, extensive plyometrics can fit in here as well. Athletes often benefit from alternating between these high output and recovery-based sessions. If you're considering training this way, measuring your outputs with tools like velocity-based training, jump height measurements, and timing gates can help you ensure progress. Follow for more training tips.